Welcome to Medicine Handy Points. Today the topic is third nerve palsy. So in the third nerve palsy, we will discuss some objective which is the medical versus surgical third nerve palsy, the differences between them and the causes for them. So let's start. Third nerve anatomy. Let's discuss that. In third nerve, the distribution of fiber is that parasympathetic fibers which supply the pupil are superficial while the motor fibers which supply the extraocular muscles are deep. This is the distribution. So superficial fibers are supplied by vessels from PM matter while the deep fibers are supplied by vesa nervura. So keep this anatomy in mind and you will understand what surgical and medical third nerve palsy. So surgical causes lead to compression from outside affecting both superficial and deep fibers while medical causes affect the deep fibers by causing by microangiopathy. So in third nerve actually the eye is down and out with ptosis just like our bear is down and out so the eye will be down and out. So the next once you see our eye down and out next step is to check for the pupillary reflex. If the pupil reflex is present, it is a medical third nerve palsy, only the deep fibers are affected and the superficial are not so. That's why pupil reflex is present, causes of diabetes and hypertension, both of them causes microangiopathy. If pupil reflex is absent and the pupils are fixed and dilated, it's a surgical third nerve palsy. There's a compression from outside causing affecting both the superficial and deep muscle causes are posterior communicating artery aneurysm ankle herniation tumor and hemorrhage all of them are surgical causes now in next slide you will see a kid with eye down and out with ptosis this is typical presentation of the third nerve palsy I hope you will like it, please subscribe and like the channel.